In this segment, we will learn about some of the condition options that can assist us when cutting intricate graphics such as small characters. One of the options that we are going to use is the tangential mode. When cutting intricate designs on more supple medias, there is a tendency for the blade to tear up corners when it maneuvers around them. Tangential mode, when enabled, prevents that from happening. This diagram demonstrates how tangential mode works. When the blade reaches a corner, it lifts the blade, maneuvers it to the next direction, and then continues on. But notice at the corner that it not only lifts out of the media, but it overcuts each line. When doing this, it allows the corners to have a cleaner cut. Let's configure a condition for cutting intricate designs. In this lesson, we will use condition two. So let's hold the enter key and press the two key to switch to condition two. Let's configure it and press the condition test button. Here we'll adjust the typical settings, starting with the blade type. Here we can set the blade type to CB09U by pressing the up arrow key and then press enter to accept the change. Next, we can lower the speed a little and then press the three key and then press the down arrow key until the value is set to 35. Reducing the speed always helps when cutting intricate graphics. And then press enter to accept the change. Now we can set the force by pressing the four key, then pressing the up arrow key to increase the value to 14 and then press enter to accept the change. The next step is to enable tangential mode. We can do this by pressing the down arrow key to cycle through the pages of options until this page where the tangential mode is shown as an option and then press the three key for tangential mode. Here, tangential mode provides us with a choice between two modes, mode one and mode two. The difference between mode one and mode two is that mode one overcuts each corner whereas mode 2 only overcuts at the start and end points. It's generally faster since it doesn't have to overcut at every corner. For this demonstration, we will use mode 2 because we are not cutting a thicker media. So we want it to lift up the blade to maneuver it at the corners, but don't necessarily need it to perform an overcut on each corner. Once that is set, we can press enter to accept the change. While in this menu, the acceleration should also be adjusted to a slower value so that it won't accelerate around the corners too fast, causing the corners to lift or be damaged. In this case, we can set it to one and then press the enter key to accept the change. The intricate design can then be sent to the cutter. As you can see, using tangential mode really makes it easy to weed the design.